freedom from the press. That's what the group or organization Citizens for the Highway says it is prepared to do battle for. But why? Last weekend, several media houses refused to publish this advertisement, which seems to describe Dr. Wayne Cabral Singh as a human reptile. But that decision by newspaper editors has angered the group. Today, it held a silent protest in front of the Express newspaper because of the media house's refusal to publish the advertisement. That decision has also prompted an advertising campaign against the media. And according to our inquiries, the two full-page ads published over the last two days cost near $20,000. In the ad, the group states that it has the right to question Dr. Kublal Singh's statement that he is surviving with food and water by breathing in moisture from the plants in his garden. The group says only reptiles can do that. And as a result, it asks, quote, Don't we have a right to say that? What is in poor taste to state that? Who gives these editors the right to reject that ad? But the Advertising Agencies Association is expressing its dismay over the publication. Secretary Lorraine Rostan told CNC3, quote, Some might consider it satire, but there is supposed to be humanity to satire, and this does not show any of that at all. She believes political advertising standards have deteriorated over the years, and she can see no beneficial reason of running the ad. President Ronald Murray told CNC3 he believes the media should have the right to exercise reasonable judgment as to whether or not to publish, but they should define or qualify the standards being applied. The Bureau of Standards has published proposed standards for the advertising industry. The document, which is out for public comment, states, an advertisement shall not contain any direct or implied reference to any person or organization which may bring them into contempt ridicule or disrepute. We attempted to contact the group on Tuesday via the email provided but we have received no response. On its Facebook page it states it was formed back in 2012 and is a public group that protests in support of the highway. There is no additional contact information on its website citizensforthehighway.com.